whenever a new technology comes along that's revolutionary and that has the capability of changing everything that we do. The transformation is, is not small, but you can't really see it until you get there. What does a map do to the world? What problems does it solve? Well, it solves quite a number of them that we don't even realize are problems today. MAP stands for Mapping Aggregation Platform, and it is a decentralized, crowdsourced 3D map of the world. For augmented reality, we're dealing with our ever-changing world. For everyone to see and experience the same embedded content in the real world at the exact same time and place, we need a better mapping system that can provide a higher level of detail of the world around us, but can also update itself as the world changes. Mapping platforms today doesn't allow for the fine accuracy to provide location-based services and concepts such as augmented reality or autonomous drone waypoints. And historically, all of that information has been centered by large giants that monopolize that information that isn't available to everybody. With MAP, we solve both of those problems. We provide a higher resolution 3D map that's up to date and leverageable by anybody. And we also provide a unified layer of information on top of that map that anybody can leverage for their applications. It's really important that this information is publicly free. This is the earth. We all own it and it should be transparent. Because it's decentralized and built on the blockchain, anyone can submit their mapping information onto the blockchain, and anyone can use that mapping information on the blockchain to build rich and accurate location-based apps and services. Hundreds of millions of people have these AR devices and these AR cameras in their pockets. Millions of them will have them in their cars and their drones. That, along with a decentralized platform where anybody can contribute and the users themselves can achieve consensus as to what the world around us looks like, has only been possible today. As users are using these depth-enabled cameras through their space, we capture important depth points that identify features in the space around them, tagged with both uh, geographic coordinates as well as approximate orientation of the device. All of that data is submitted to the blockchain. A blockchain is a block of data chained together with another block of data, again and again and again, creating a chain that goes on indefinitely. If any change in the previous block is done, it will then show up in the next block's hash. This makes all of the data from the past permanent. In the map platform, new data coming in can replace old data that's already existing. So you get what's really a living history of the entire world and people are rewarded for creating this record of the world. This allows for us to take hundreds of different perspectives, align them, and then achieve consensus on which are the common points between all of them. And that allows us to slowly build out a sprawling network of feature points in the world around us. Mapping data on the blockchain has the potential for transforming the human experience of the world around us. The ability to encode digital information into the real world is something that would affect almost every industry. MAP is for anybody who's developing a location-based service. So if that's augmented reality developers, drones or autonomous kind of systems, all of those people can leverage MAP uh, in a way that's free and more powerful to them than any existing system out there. Drones can identify their routes on the map and ensure that no other drone uses their specific route or weigh the different routes they have and ensure that traffic and congestion issues are solved. IoT devices can directly share their information onto the blockchain and make it immediately available to any application that uses the map blockchain for them to incorporate it in whatever way suits their use case. Consumers now actually have an unprecedented say in the creation of this map. Their perspectives are the building block that this platform is built on. The depth data that they capture as they move around allows them to have a more intimate experience with all these apps that they're using. And so that means knowing exactly where there's open parking spots or when your retail store has something you want in stock. So the map platform is for everybody. It allows everybody to understand the world that we have and then represent it in a digital fashion that we can build apps on top of. Location-based games and entertainment that are social can benefit from the map platform because these applications will be built on an up-to-date map of the world so that we can all experience and see the exact same things at the exact same time. Location-based games and applications can finally be what they were supposed to be, bringing people together, sharing a moment together in real time. Everybody gains from using this platform, and as developers add more information about their maps and users contribute more information about the world around them, this really leads to a tide that raises all ships. This is unprecedented in, in the history of the world. It is a societal technology, and it's a socially transformative one. What it adds to the world is a greater 
definition of truth. 20 years from now, I hope to one day visit my neighborhood that I grew up in with my children. And not only do they get my perspective of what it was like to grow up there, we can all learn about the neighborhood through thousands of different people. I can ask the Earth what happened here at any point in time, and it will be able to tell me. I think it's magical that Earth finally has a way to speak to us.